Hello and welcome back to Garden of Grime. My name is Darren Sprobs and this is part nine. Something I've actually discovered whilst growing away this time is that these will actually drop blaze rods sometimes. <laughs> I was under the impression that I could only get them when I actually broke the actual crop. So yeah, this is actually rather huge and this has made it a little bit more easier for me to actually get hoppers even more easier. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty good. But yeah, we've actually hit day 304 now. I have been grinding and kind of cleaning a few things off the camera, really. Uh, but it's honestly, I didn't really record that much because it was literally quite a lot of AFKing. Now, as you can see, a lot of these berries in here are actually ready to harvest. And by the way, there is actually, in fact, now five tiers okay so it goes up five layers now i've actually figured a way of stopping um the slimes actually spawning in which is quite nice um what i've done is actually put slabs at the very very top there and they just do not seem to be spawning inside it anymore which is really good so i'm probably going to slab all of this and all of this kind of stuff as well um just to prevent them because yeah they are really brutal but look at that we just got eight blaze rods from that <laughs> awesome so in here i'm actually growing some uh, saplings again just to kind of get my wood kind of back up again because obviously oops i've been burning uh, quite a few of these um uh, logs because obviously i'm making crop sticks oh they're not actually ready to harvest that's why that was weird there we go here i'm trying to actually go ahead and make myself a cactus um because, yeah, little did I know that the mini cactus that I've actually got, actually, when I planted it, actually became this type of cactus. Um, so, yeah, I would like to get a cactus because if I actually have a look at cactus, there is actually something here called cactus juice. And it's literally a crafting recipe for a cactus for that. But then I can actually go ahead and make water with this. So this is actually a way of me somewhat automating this. Now I discovered this because it's actually in the quest somewhere. I don't know where I actually spotted it. And then over here I've got the essence berry still growing. Uh, this is actually the third generation now I'm calling it. <laughs> I'm basically trying to get um, a better stats. So I think it's growth gain and resistance is it? Uh, or rep reproduction i'm not really too sure but these stats if they're higher they mean hopefully more more berries which means more xp what i'm trying to do today okay is go ahead and get some of these machines on the go because we are actually in fact playing greg tech dan and you haven't even made a single freaking machine yet and you're on day 300 what are you playing at you've basically just been playing this as if it was a sky block <laughs> What it is, technically, right? We basically want to go ahead and start making some Steam Age um, things because I feel like we're pretty much at that kind of t stage now where we could actually really do with this. So the idea of this coal boiler thing is to obviously produce power to the other machines. And then what the other machines do is actually give me a way of somewhat almost duplicating or doubling up my resources making it a lot more easier and then i can actually unlock new things such as this now this is definitely something <laughs> i really could do with an iron spike now if i actually read this look a giant nasty pointy spikes <laughs> that will do a large amount of damage to any creature unfortunate to come into contact with them the spikes will not destroy items that land on them and mobs killed will drop rare items but they will not drop experience which sucks if i'm not mistaken though if i have a look at spikes i'm pretty sure that is it the diamond one or is it the gold one one of these two drop experience now unfortunately there's only a tooltip on the actual iron one which kind of sucks a little bit so i'm gonna have to go and have a look online but i'm more than certain it might be the diamond one because i think this will basically mean it's player kills and experience and i think this one might be just kills not player kills whereas this when it says rare items that means yeah it's basically player kills so hang on a minute dan i'm a little bit confused it looks like you could probably craft this like you, all you need is an iron block yeah that's the actual point of making this kind of stuff because yeah we need to compress down the iron ingots into a block we cannot just craft an iron block like so it just does not exist we're playing greg tech right so this is how we have to do things 
<laughs> which is fun. I, I can't wait to get in all this kind of stuff. So before we get into any of that, we actually need to go ahead and get these things first because we basically need to pump water into a boiler for it to actually boil the water and then produce steam because that's how we're going to power everything. And another quality of life thing would be to go ahead and make this work table, as I mentioned at the end of part eight. Um, yeah, this thing will actually start storing in my uh, items and stuff and make my life a bit easier rather than crafting it all by hand. As I said, I've been busy, right? And if I open up this chest here, we do have quite a few lovely goodies in here that, oh, it's been so hard not to touch these. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, we got 17 copper dust and some iron dust and some tin. Okay, I've been crafting these and we got loads of XP berries and I've also got this armor shard as well. Yeah, I actually managed to get this because of the actual XP berries that were just kind of growing together. I don't know how that happened or why that happened, but yeah, I didn't really realize at the time and I just kind of broke it in my hand and I only got that. <laughs> Whoops, um, but I'm sure it's not the last one we're ever gonna see. But yeah, that would actually be pretty cool though if I actually had a load of this, because yeah, you can actually combine it. It looks a bit of a mess, and then <laughs> you kind of just smell it in a furnace, right? But this will actually unlock um, me to actually have a better tools look, and obviously they've got a lot more durability than what a um, iron one does, for example. So yeah, that's a bit of a bummer, but hey, I wish I kind of realized what it was at the time, but hey, it's fine. But anyway, let's grab all these and grab all of these in here and, and get a load of XP, shall we? So we're going to play a little bit of a game here, I think, and let's have a bit of a guess of how much XP I'm actually going to get from all of these berries. So I reckon I'm probably going to get somewhere between 70 and 75 levels. Oh my god, they're even more up here as well. So the grand total is 11 stacks of ore berries plus 21. So what do you reckon I will be on when I've finished eating these? Oh God, I'm excited. I reckon 11 stacks. Oh, it's gotta be 75, right? Let's go. I think I'm gonna, oh, oh my God. We're almost on 30 already. Maybe I underestimated. Oh, there we go. <laughs> 71 levels. Well, it's technically 61. I think I started with 10, right? Okay, so I was four short, but I mean, pretty close, right? <laughs> that is an insane amount of XP, and I hope I don't fall off and die. <laughs> and also, that was an insane amount of clicking. Yes, you can just auto hold your finger on it. But if you click faster, yeah, it seems to uh, suck it up a little bit faster. Right, I've got a couple of uh, buckets here of milk. Um, I'm actually going to just get rid of these. And the reason I'm actually running around with milk now is because I've actually noticed something. I was wondering why this was happening. And there's actually a way I'm going to show you now of actually somewhat... Not really hacking the system, but kind of. Watch when I eat this. I get something here called well fed. Now, in my head, that to me sounds like it's a lovely, uh, you know, an effect, but it's honestly terrible, so you want to get rid of it. <laughs> Basically, it drains your saturation a lot quicker, and now, as I've just drank milk, it's actually gone completely, where else it would have lasted for three minutes. My saturation would have just kind of, kind of gone down. Um, so yeah, you'll see that my hunger won't really go down as much now. Um, just because I've got rid of that effect, because that would have lasted for three minutes, and then it would have got rid of all my saturation, essentially. Um, but anyway, let's have a little look here so and see what we've actually got, because we do have some things already as well. And, oh God, I'm actually a little bit of a donkey, because, yeah, in my head off camera, I was crafting this, thinking it's free copper and a tin dust for one bronze dust. No, 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 Dan, it's actually three bronze dust for one, you idiot. <laughs> so yeah, I might even have enough of this to be fair. <laughs> what achievement get? Fireworks, I haven't seen fireworks in so long. Beautiful, okay. So we've got 15 bronze dust, and if I'm not mistaken, we need essentially uh two four six eight ten right 
so we can probably just go ahead and start cooking that up, right? Um, but I'm probably going to go ahead and make myself another copper dust. Just because um, then I can actually go ahead. Oh, we changed that to small piles. How do we do that? What? What does that do? <laughs> How did we do that? What? That's so strange. How did I do that? I'm not really too sure. Did I? Oh, I must have auto did it like that. Right, okay, I got you. But yeah, I wanted to go ahead and make some more just so I can get some more bronze ingots. Now, I presume we just chuck these in a crafting table with a hammer and we can, yeah, bash them out like that. Okay, cool. So that is not actually very expensive at all, to be fair. <laughs> the most expensive part is the furnaces and things like that. But before I actually go ahead and start using up all my XP, Oh my god, I filled the tank up without even using up a level. Wow. That is actually rather huge. <laughs> wow, we have got so much XP, you don't realise, man. Oh, the reason this flint pickaxe is so broken is because, yeah, I was busy cleaning up stuff off camera, right? So now we can go ahead and repair this thing, beautiful. And as I'm actually in the Tinker's Tool Station, I'm gonna do a little bit of a shout out right now. Yeah, somebody in the comment section left me a brilliant comment and I had to share this um, because this is amazing. But I did not know this was a thing. You can actually use Certus Quartz to essentially add the Quartz modifier, thus meaning sharpness to your tools. Y yes, and look, that is actually just giving it sharpness Look how much sharpness I can get. Oh my god, this has got nine attack damage now. Oh my god, you can go even higher? Still higher? How high can you go with this thing? Are you kidding me? This is a little bit broken. Dude, this is huge. Oh my god, why did I never know this before? I mean, okay, I can't go any higher than that, but I've got... I got a battle with 21 attack damage. Are you sh- Oh my god. I almost swore that it's that crazy. Seriously? Dude, that is like... <laughs> what? That is, that is broken if I've never- Oh my god, that is so broken. I love it. That is so good. So that actually means now, if I smack any mobs, yeah, that will probably more than likely one-shot them. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, man. Cheers, dude. I, I really appreciate that. But anyway, let's have a look in here. How is the Emerald Bank doing? Now, we had a bit of a crisis, and the crisis is we got extra coins and raw human meat. Now, what does that mean? Yeah, the villagers died. Not all of them, some of them. Now, why have I actually come here? Now, I've come here because I want six emeralds for a certain thing that I'm going to need because... I can tell you now, my hammer is going to break, and I've discovered that you can actually go ahead and make hammers with emeralds. But yes, I want to just show you this, and I think I know why they actually died. See this? I had these blocks here, didn't I? I think they were taking suffocation, and maybe there was just too many. Like, this guy here is so close to dying, look. But now, because he's got room, he can actually bounce and, you know, somewhat jump his head up and down. Uh, yeah, he's not going to take any damage. So, yeah, we have severely lost a lot of villagers. Now, if you do the math, um, I'm pretty sure uh, rotten human flesh. So, let me just have a look. Human flesh is a drop from these guys. And it's 22.5% chance 
So, and we had a few extra coins, which I believe the coins are a 10%. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm guessing we probably lost like 30 odd villagers, if I'm not mistaken. So that sucks. So I was actually debating whether to actually go ahead and hook up. <laughs> this sounds crazy, right? How can I get so crazy like this? Um, a load of dispensers over there with the mystery arrows in it. And then literally set it all up with redstone because I've got a little bit of redstone. But yes, I can actually make this. Set it all up, shoot them. And then essentially they would duplicate and turn into babies. But then what I would need to do is probably put some slabs or something to prevent the babies falling through where the signs um, essentially are. But anyway, I've got these emeralds here. We can go ahead and make something here, which is a hammer. Now, it's actually not that great, but I mean, it's free. <laughs> so it's not as good as the diamond one, that's for sure. But it's, like I say, free. So I'm not going to honestly complain. So I actually kind of came in here for this thing, right? Which is actually a bookshelf. <laughs> I completely forgot, all right? Don't shoot me. So I just crafted a crafted table and a chest. Um, these are things we actually need. I need to pick up my screwdriver and we're gonna need a saw, which I've already got, so that's not a problem. There should be a spare screwdriver in here. There we go. We've also got these iron bolts that I used before, or crafted before, to actually go ahead and make the, um, you know, the XP drain. Um, so they're just kind of leftover things. So I'm back over here just kind of crafting up manually some um, iron dust just to get a little bit more just to kind of help speed this process up a little bit. We put the uh, furnaces here and I've just slapped a couple of torches here as well. Because when I put this down it actually started to say that mobs could spawn here. So we should be able to go ahead and make a file now. There we go. So the reason I actually need to um, have a file is to actually file these little iron bolts into screws if you remember correctly like this so we are going to need to i think get an ingot if i'm not mistaken with a file isn't it to make nope that's the screwdriver there we go the file to make this rod there we go and then we need to use the saw to cut it there we go put those two things like that and then we take the file and we got another screw perfect right so in theory we should have everything we need to go ahead and make this now i'm doing this off the top of my head now i think we only need one of them uh, oh, and then we need the screwdriver, and then we need a saw. <gasps> One work table, done. So, why don't we just literally... Oh, I hope this is good. Put that there. Nice. So, if I'm not mistaken, you yes, this is that table. I have used this before. So, what we need to do is just save recipes, look. So, that one we save, okay. Um... I think if only, it, if you make it once, it saves it, if I'm not mistaken. Should we give it a little go? So if we put these in here, click that, it saved it, look. So now, and then it saved it up there. So if I want to go ahead and make, I don't know, another recipe, like this one, so a copper one. And then if I take enough XP to actually make it, it will remember it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is great. Okay. This is uh oh, this is this is really good. So I need to just basically do that. Slap all them in there now. Click that button. Click, 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 click. Ah. Much easier. So I can hear a slime now. I really want to try this thing out. Where is it? Oh. The ones in its life, it jumped off the edge. Oh god. I wanted to try out my new cool weapon with 21 attack damage. So looking at this, this is actually a multi-block structure and we need to actually make it a three by three. So we need 27 in essentially of these blocks to go ahead and make this. And I guess we need to, yeah, meet, leave the middle one hollow. Um, okay, so we need 27 sticky resin. I've actually got a whole stack in here, conveniently. Um, okay, so we need some iron rods. That's an ingot each. So we need 54 ingots. Oh my god. 54 ingots. My god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Jesus, man. That's a lot of ingots. A few moments later. There we go. We've got 56. Okay. And we've actually still got 47 levels, which is actually quite mad. I was actually a bit scared then. I thought, maybe, maybe I'm not going to um, have enough. Um, right, let's spread this all out evenly. So 
18 of them, 18 of them, and then you can have one in there, and you can have one in there. Perfect. So now we just need to wait for these to cook. There's a test subject over here. A little baby yellow slime. Boom! Obviously. They always, they always die in one shot, those ones. So do they. They're too small. So let's separate these into 54, and then we need a file and turn all these into rods. <gasps> Okay, my file's still alive. That's really good. But we're definitely going to need to make another one of them. So then we need to cut all these into... No, we don't cut them. We just leave them as they are. We leave them as they are. <laughs> that was close. Okay, so we go. All we need is some wood and a hammer, which we got this extra one here because this one's probably going to break. So I think as I'm a bit more richer now, I think I can afford to actually start cutting logs into planks using saws and things like that now. But yeah, we are going to need quite a lot of planks then. Obviously, like 27 of these, if I'm not mistaken. But there we go. That should be more than enough. So we should be able to split these like that. And then we chuck a hammer in there, is it? And then was it the resin up there or something? Nope, it's the other way around. Okay. There we go. Oh. Okay, hammer might survive. 27, please. Boom, it survived with 850 durability. Wow. Okay. So, water tank siding is done. I should probably start thinking about making an area where to put all this because i got to be careful. We're playing Greg Tech and it rains a lot on this world anyway. And if it rains on machines, I believe they can blow on fire and essentially blow up from what I've read, <laughs> which sounds fun, but it's probably not going to be fun. It would make me cry. Um, it says it all here, look. Uh, keep in mind, electrical machines don't like getting rain or snow on them. They'll start fires, and those fires have a chance of causing explosions. And we'll check that. I don't know if that even worked. No, we're not taking the firework, unfortunately. <laughs> I've actually been cooking up some stone in preparation for this off camera. Um, obviously, I got a lot of cobblestone from the um, ginormous bull thing that was over there. Now, the question is, can we actually make bricks? Oh, no, we can't. Okay, I presume we're going to need some sort of chisel for this then, are we? It's not that one. It's... I don't know which one. This one! Oh, wow. Okay, we can definitely craft this thing, though. It's not that bad. Oh, and by the way, you probably can see all this water as well. Um, yeah, that was that was actually very, very fun to uh, to, to, to sort out. Um, I actually came out with quite a good idea with that, though. So I thought it'd be better to just kind of actually turn this into these fresh waters that I can actually use to make different foods and stuff. Because food is obviously a massive thing in this pack as well. So I may as well get some stuff. But not only that, this actual water can be used to actually make said salt look. Which is really, really good. Because um, I believe salt seems to be in a lot of recipes. Should we go ahead and make a chisel? Do you reckon we can afford that? What is that? That's one, two, three ingots right there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine ingots? Yeah. I think we can do this, right? My file should probably break now. Yep, there we go. That's exactly why I wanted to go ahead and craft another one of these. So, in theory, we should have everything we need to go ahead and make a chisel. Look at me. I'm a builder now. Oh, this is the old school one, like this. Oh my god, what are these? Wow, we can actually make something look pretty cool, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking like machinery. So why don't we go for something like this? This looks quite interesting. What about... Oh, cobblestone has got all these. Okay, this looks cool as well. We'll try these two, right? Um, okay. So this needs to be fireproof. Oh, that's actually got durability on it. 99. Okay, so that barely used anything as well, which is quite nice. Uh, machinery. Hmm. Oh, what a change of scenery, eh? A little bit of building. <laughs> oh, this is great. And to give this a little bit more character, I'm just adding in some dark oak logs I just found in my chest. There we go. That looks a bit more cooler. Right, so I've purposely made this five um, because, yeah, I need to kind of somewhat punch a little bit of a hole here now. 
or this because this actually collects rainwater if I'm not mistaken um, and that's how we kind of get the water to go into the boiler uh, I'm thinking like having it so it's like that I think yeah so what we're going to do is kind of make this like half in, half out of this kind of little house building thing, hidey hole I made. Um, right, so I genuinely don't know if we need to uh, whack this with a hammer or anything or no, or, or something. I'm not really too sure. We will discover this as we go. Um, it might say something about it in the quest book if, it, if we can't figure it out. But I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's like that. There we go. Oh, it's just generating water. Oh no, I didn't need 27, did I, Dan, you idiot? <laughs> Whoops. Um, I will keep that one anyway, though. Um, oh, right. I was under the impression it needed to rain. Maybe it just generates water over time, then. That is actually quite interesting. But that looks cool, man. Oh, especially with a little rim around it. No, that actually works really, really well. Okay, we definitely need to put some torches in here, though. Oh, look at this. This looks awesome. It's like a little base thing. Okay, okay. So next up, we should go ahead and start making some wooden fluid pipes, I guess. So we need a mallet for this one and a saw. Okay. I don't really know how many of these I need, so I'll just get, like, 16 to be safe. Before I crack on with anything else, let's just go and have a look at these crops. Oh, 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 oh. We got a new one here. What is that? A magic metal berry what it's purple what is that magic metal there there it is oh it's this thing i've seen this one okay so what do we need that a block of thorium iron formanite or void below to fully mature drop some magical metal that is underneath iron will drop thorium oh it needs a block of iron i see Wow, we will actually be able to grow this thing. That's tier 7 as well. I will leave them do their thing for now. I guess uh, I can harvest these, but wow, okay, that's pretty cool. So we will actually be able to get um, Thorium then. So this recipe here, which is for the wrench, uh, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we need 20 ingots, which is not that bad, to be fair. Um, right, so let's go back on here. Get 20 iron dust on the go. So using a chisel, I can actually chisel these back to the original form as well, which is a nice little feature. But I wanted to try, yeah, we can actually chisel up glass as well. Ah, that's actually really cool. So we can actually make a nice little glass roof on this thing, which is quite cool. Okay. So I've got 23 ingots now in total, and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make this wrench. So we do need the hammer right in the center here, so we do something like that. There you go, there's one wrench. And then pretty much the rest of these are turned into plates. And then we need seven plates, right? One iron furnace. Boom. Okay, there's that part. So all we need to do now is actually get some bricks. Now in order for us to actually get bricks, we need to cook up some unfired clay bricks, which require that little wooden form like I used for actually making the sea a tank. We just need to literally wrap this up. How many bricks do we need? Oh, it's just one. While we're waiting around for um, those to actually cook, we need to start looking into the compressor recipe. So this actually requires a lot more bronze. Okay, that's quite expensive. Sticky pistons and pistons. I mean, we've been getting them from the uh, Inferno mobs. And this, okay, so this is actually a bit more bronze again. Interesting. We do have a bit of copper there. We do have some tin here. Okay, so I am under the impression now we're probably going to run out of XP. Rip. Let's go ahead and make this steam boiler then, shall we? So we need to just do that and that's it. We didn't actually need two buckets of water, but hey, it's not really the end of the world. So from memory, it's that with that and that and then that thing, right? There we go. Small coal boiler. And I was expecting fireworks. Woohoo! Okay, okay, okay. So let me just place this down. 
Okay, one of these is the steam, and one of them is the water level, and one is the heat level. We obviously have to put fuel in, and then this is whatever. Yeah, okay, I got you. So I'll just come back to the villages a minute just to see if I can find a rail worker that's selling coal like we have before. Please tell me I've got him in here somewhere. Ah, there we go. And we should be able to craft this thing now. But the problem we got now is we need more plates. We need four more plates, essentially, to actually make those pipes again. So we need to save them back over there. There we go. But anyway, we got the compressor. That's good. So I'm also wondering if it's worth going down the copper ore berry route as well a little bit, just to kind of help get bronze a little bit cheaper, because copper is actually the more expensive side and I'm actually crafting it with the XP because I need free dust, right? So I'm wondering if it's worth actually going ahead and growing an absolute butt ton of copper now as well as XP. Um, but the problem with that is I need to go ahead and make the crop sticks to obviously plant this. Um, we do have a lot of blaze reed just somewhat sat here. Um, yeah, do I get rid of that? But then I'm going to want to make hoppers and then I'm going to have a problem. I'm not going to have any blaze rods left over and... Oh no, oh no, oh no. So that means essentially I would need 27 ore berries, right? Because three times nine is 27. And nine of those little dust make one of the copper dust and then three copper dust plus the tin makes one bronze ingot, right? So I'm gonna need a lot of ore berries as well. And honestly, I don't know if it's actually worth it. Thinking about it now. Now I've just done that little bit of maths there. Um. Because, yeah, one of, this is like 5 times 9, uh, 36, right? Because there's 9, 18, 27, 36. So, yeah, 5 times 36, probably like 180-something, if I'm not mistaken. Which pretty much gives me 4 stacks of berries, near enough, on average. Um, yeah, I would need a lot of copper to just get hardly anything, right? So it's definitely not worth it, is it? We will just put them back in there for a rainy day. I think. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now then is unfortunately say goodbye to the cows, I think. Because, yeah, we we need XP. This isn't funny, okay? I want you to just go in the pen, please. <laughs> Stop jumping up and down like that. All right, there we go. He's awake again now. Come on. Oh, my God. These mobs, man. I'm going to say it now, but those XP berries are very X over P, right? <laughs> I just killed all of them and I've only got 12 levels, plus I bred them as well. Wow. What? Because I killed all the cows, there's actually a random horse over there. That is quite scary. <laughs> I forgot that because obviously all of those cows were passive mobs and they're probably taking up the cap, right? Um, yeah, we're going to get random animals now. Yep, there's another cow. Literally one hit KO, everything. Thank you very much. <laughs> so you got a twin now, look at that. So we got one other way that we can get XP and that is by turning this thing back on at full power. <laughs> Let's go. Time to get wrecked. And this Matok is absolutely insane now. <laughs> Like, unbelievably insane. It's practically one shot everything. <laughs> oh, this is so broken. Uh oh. Okay, I just made a boo boo and I just broke a dirt block. <laughs> Maybe I should have made it with a dirt block, but that's gonna cause issues now. Okay, we need to get out of there. But anyway, I'm level 33. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's because I put haste on this thing. Oh no, it should have been a stair anyway. That's my bad. Okay, we're going to have to let these guys kind of do whatever they do now, i.e. despawn. But yeah, this guy's going to kind of come over here and bug me a little bit, isn't he? It's fine. We can take him out quite easily. There we go. A bit more XP for me. Lovely. But yeah, no, that's uh, a lot more easier now. Um, I actually genuinely love my Matok. It's turned into a absolutely outstanding weapon right now. And once again, thank you very much to that lovely comment. But look at this. We've got two of these bags as well. And we got an emerald. Nice. 40 coins. Yo, that's actually really good. 
So in the end, I've actually gone ahead and made nine bronze ingots, which is pretty awesome. So we have just literally got enough to make these pipes, which is actually very cool. So we're definitely going to be able to go ahead and do this. So there we go. We've got some pipes. So now comes the fun question of how do we set all this up? Okay, so I finally figured out. I'm sorry for all you Greg Tech professionals out there. Uh, yeah, I've never really played with Greg Tech piping before, and it's very unique. Let's just say that. But you can see that the steam is actually going straight into this machine now, which is nice. Um, so there's actually no more steam actually inside the steam boiler, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to put one more of them in there just to see what happens because I'm curious. So one of the things a steam compressor can do is turn water buckets into snow. Don't understand that recipe, don't ask. But it's, it's a bit of a test, right, for now. But you can definitely see that this is actually completely functioning. It should take 30 seconds, which it says at the very top there. There we go, snow. So yeah, I've just wasted a bucket for the test, but hey, I don't really care. We always seem to always have one bucket left over anyway. But yeah, we can get snow like that. And now what I'm thinking is I could probably make a snowman. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, okay. I've been grinding away for a few days now, trying my hardest to get every kind of resource possible I can to get these other two machines. Because I don't want to just have a compressor. I really want to get the macerator, get this thing set up so we can actually start grinding down all of these armors and stuff. And what I've been doing is basically killing mobs. And I've also been doing a little bit of cleaning up, as you can see. We've got animals everywhere and there is no more fence anymore. But regarding the mob farm, I don't know. I think there's actually some dirt. Yeah, there is. A, a dirt creeper blew up. But I got a bit of footage to show you. We actually got ourselves a diamond block from an inferno inferno witch, as I'm calling it. And they also dropped an axe and I think this armor I'm actually wearing right now. So yeah, that was actually unbelievably huge. And I cannot actually believe that we got a diamond block. Now, this might also mean that I can actually uh, start maybe thinking about the diamond spike. Maybe, but I'm not sure how we get diamond plates yet. Uh, this could be another... As I say, a rabbit hole. Oh, it looks like we need a cutting machine. Okay, so we actually need to go to LV for that. So let's have a look at the steam macerator recipe. So I have pretty much got most of the things I need to actually go ahead and craft this. What I've been looking into is if I actually macerate um, like a helmet, I will actually get five dust. But the key thing you need to actually remember though, Dan, is they have to be fully repaired, as you can see. So I do not want to go ahead and chuck in a like this. That's only got nine durability left on it because it won't do anything, I don't think. Or it might, but it won't actually give you anything. So yeah, we basically got to repair all this and ditch any enchanted cool stuff. But what I'm really after is like, look at this. Eight iron dust for the chest plate, which is basically what I would have actually paid for it in vanilla Minecraft. Oh my God, we get fireworks for that one too. Great. So looking at my little setup, I think I could probably just slap the macerator just here and then obviously the hammer next to it as well. But I did notice that this was popping up with a little icon, but it's obviously gone now because I probably moved it or something. But yeah, that means I basically needed to go ahead and make sure that this had a exit point for the steam. So what I'm actually going to have to do is actually probably get some more cobblestone or something and make sure that these have got a bit of room at the back so they can actually somewhat let off the steam, if you know what I mean. Um, that kind of rhymes. <laughs> let off the steam, if you know what I mean. Oh God, Dan, you're losing your mind. I've left this kind of top row here just to kind of give it a little bit of depth, I guess. But anyway, let's try this. So if we just put this thing here, do we need to do uh, this? So it's actually got an entry point here. And I guess the pipe will kind of connect via here, right? Um, okay, and we just connect it up like that. Okay, in theory, that should be on now. I've taken my coal already, so we could chuck that back in there. There we go. So that's going to start heating up. And hopefully, we will start getting some steam eventually. So why don't we go and get something that we can test this with? Um, something iron, of course. <laughs> that makes... 
the most horrendous sound I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, 44 seconds. That's not that bad. Oh my god. Yep, okay, the steam can't escape, so there must be a way for me to actually make the steam escape. I see. So because the steam can't escape, I'm gonna have to do the piping like that behind, but I guess overall it kind of looks a lot nicer. The most importantly, we've actually got eight iron dust. So I got some more iron dust as you can see, but again, um, there is a problem with the steam vent. Now it's telling me to right click with this. Oh. Oh. I was under the impression that this little hole was for the pipes. Oh dear. I guess I got that wrong then. Um, That just seemed like, to me, that hole was for <laughs> the pipes. It just looks more like it, right? No? Is, is, that, is that just me that thinks that? <laughs> Okay, but anyway, the good news is um, the hopper actually works, um, which is brilliant. So we can literally just start filling that up with anything that's fully repaired, if you know what I mean. Um, but obviously, I can just chuck a chest on top of that as well. So we've got all of these leggings, look. we got these helmets we could combine. There's these boots, look. Oh my god, we're going to be iron rich, man. This is so good. So I'm guessing that is the actual steam vent then, because, yeah, it's not crying at me anymore. <laughs> And yeah, look at that. We got loads of iron armor in here now and it's just kind of doing its thing. Oh, this is great. <laughs> this is really, really good. Oh, look at that. We got a block of iron. <laughs> oh. Yeah, th this is what I feared. Steam is going to be a problem. We're essentially going to have to wait for this thing to build up quite a lot, I think. But it's because I'm running both of these at the same time. <laughs> Problematic. Problematic. So now I've got some blocks of iron. I want to go ahead and try this thing out. Because if you remember correctly, this thing said it needed to have a block of iron under it. For it to actually grow. There we go. Can grow. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. This is a great one today. I'm loving this. Okay. Okay. New crops. New crops, man. Right, so I got all my five iron blocks, which is awesome. So in theory, we should be able to go ahead and make a anvil now, which is cool. So I just went and pinched another pipe from over there. But the reason why is because I only have five and this recipe obviously needs six. But in theory, once I've got this forge hammer, I should be able to make the plates a little bit cheaper, if you know what I mean. Um, right, so let's uh, quickly make this. So there we go. Okay, we don't get fireworks for that one. That's a bit of a shame. <laughs> I was expecting fireworks, man. So obviously I need some more bronze plates for these pipes because obviously I need to connect it all back up. But as you can see, if I put in three bronze ingots, I actually get two bronze plates back. So when you start doing this in a bit of a bulk, you are going to end up getting a few extra plates for your buck. Like if I was to put six in there, six ingots, yeah, I would actually get four plates. So that's quite beneficial. I've actually got quite a few XP berries in this chest, look. And we've also got to harvest all of these. But what I'm actually going to do is quickly eat these. Or use them. Is that even a term? So I've managed to make myself nine bronze dust out of all of that XP, which isn't too bad. I do have a little bit of iron left over here, so we are going to just kind of cook that up. But yeah, now I've got three uh, ingots, I can go ahead and chuck these in the actual hammer and give it a little try, shall we? So let's do that. Oh my god, this is actually pretty quick. But not only that, it's actually saving me on actually crafting hammers too, right? So this is it, the beginnings of automation. Ah, oh, I never actually give this a steam point, did I? Here we go. I cannot believe I've actually got this far to get all this stuff. I'm over the moon. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is, this is amazing. Like, you don't really understand how amazing this is to me. <laughs> how long have I worked with just my hands with not having machines? This is, wow. Now comes the problem, do I make another one of these or do I just literally upgrade it? Or do I make a tank to kind of store a little steam and have a bit of a somewhat battery kind of storage thing going on? I'm not really too sure, but yeah, I feel like what I'm going to be doing now is uh, 
having an, an absolutely god almighty cleanup and macerate literally everything I possibly can. And hopefully when you see me next time, I will be filthy, filthy rich with gold <laughs> and iron. But what I'm actually probably going to do is not really do anything with it. Just have a load of dust everywhere because I'm pretty sure that I might be able to like mix the dusts maybe and make different resources. So yeah, I'm going to have to do a little bit more research and kind of actually start reading through a bit of the quest now because we're going to find out a lot more information via this. But it looks like we are kind of going all the way to this kind of quest, I think, or is it the motors? I'm not really too sure which one it is. It's one of these two. Um, but yeah, this is looking like we're going to be going into LV, which is the uh, next thing, which is a low voltage, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but no, yeah, I'm really happy. We got some basic machinery. <laughs> <laughs> at last and we started out with literally nothing which is actually really crazy but anyway i'm dan ross probs thank you very very much for watching as always and i got some uh, macerating to do now <laughs> catch you in the next one bye